Hello and welcome to this video and in this video I think this is the fourth video in the I test your app series and in this video I'm going to do the exact same thing as I did in the previous three I'm going to test out your app so again today I have six new apps and these are ones that I'm going to test out today again like all of the other previous videos I haven't opened any of these apps so it's my first impression so uh, let's open up the first one which is circle and i and i also don't know if this is a game or if it's a you know utility app or something like that but this looks like it's a game so we got free wave and battle i'm just going to click on free because there's probably some let's see a free game press to play okay i just have to first figure out what it's all about info Developed by contact website version. Okay. Maybe this is a very popular type of game. So it's, it's, you know, it's standard that everybody knows how to, how to play this, but I'm not completely sure how to play this. So I would probably include a how to because I have, okay. So you got to tap and then try to get as many circles as possible got it but it took a bit of time before i figured that out so let's try again now i know what this is about okay score two nice whoa score 10 try to beat that so that's my high score best score 10 and then we got uh, multiple modes here. We got wave, we got battle. Is that multiplayer? Press to play, three waves. Okay, so these are different. Uh, okay, so here you can have multiple players. Awesome. Uh, I would also probably have a back button. So if I'm playing right now and I want to exit the game, I don't have a way of doing that without shutting down the app. I'm just going to let it play out here. Okay, so I like the game. As I said, it's it's very simple. One thing I would do is I would add a how-to and I will also add a pause button within the gameplay so that I can go back and exit a certain mode if I don't want to play it anymore. Uh, but other than that, I liked the game. Next one is Jump Kitty Jump. Uh, kitty games, Jump Kitty Jump. Happy Ernie Kitty explores the world. Touch screen, okay, again here. Cute cat, is that your own cat? I, I, I like it. Uh, I would just make, again, touch screen to start game. It's like I have to search for that text. So just make it make it the main, uh, you know, the main part of the, the first screen instead of like my eyes fall on the cat or kitty explores the world and then touch screen to start game is like, probably you can make it blink. I think that would solve the whole thing. But I'm just going to touch it and then I'm going to choose Singapore um chung okay score to be 10,900 it sounds like a lot but maybe it isn't start and then i have a mute button two start buttons one with mute and one with audio okay so you can choose between starting without audio or with audio okay so it's a i see it's it's that um jump game type of thing boom oops Come on. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I can jump over here, jump over there. I think this can take a long time because I'm actually good at this. And I needed to beat 10,900. Come on, kitty. There we go. Okay, so it stops after some time. And I like that because else I could go on in infinity here. Select game play again okay so then I can choose multiple levels if I now were to choose Singapore again it's the same score okay now I would also here again have a back button if I didn't want to play Singapore but I instead wanted to play something else and again if I'm in here I can't you know go back because let's say I'm just going to just let myself fall here <laughs> it's impossible to fall here okay here we go so again, here, a pause button, oops, a pause button or a menu button. Um, 
again here we go back okay share on facebook i like that good job next city is coming i like that you constantly add more levels and then probably berlin is more challenging Eleven i i'm just going to try this berlin you could probably also add infinity mode to this game where i could just play on and on and try to get the highest score as possible because i really have no problem beating the scores that are you know set um but i like it new levels are coming i like the gameplay uh of course there are other games that have the same gameplay but you have added a twist with the jump kitty jump uh the kitty is named hazelnut i like that and uh, a great game awesome share button and uh, just make sure to add or i would at least add a pause button within the gameplay so that i'm able to go back if i don't want to play that level anymore let's jump over to the next one i nap i need a p okay so that's the abbreviation got it click the logo at the top uh so let's try the first level and we jump in i click it again okay nothing much happening there when i click the raindrop as i'm as you can see i'm touching the buttons but nothing is happening here right now i'm not able to get any functionality out of this app or game but thank you for sending it in lazy cooker okay uh, fill ingredients that you have a search by ingredients okay so i can for example say tomato then i have a tomato done search by ingredients okay easy copper okay this is actually pretty genius so you you type in the um, the, the ingredients that you do have and then it's finding a recipe for you. So if I now had tomato and I had some mozzarella, okay, that it doesn't like that. Cumin, I have cumin, why not? Okay, buffalo mozzarella. And let's search by ingredients. It actually found something for cumin, mozzarella, and okay, caprese salad, I just click that. Oh, I like the, the zoom in on the picture there, nice touch. Uh, there's no cumin here, but I guess it's it's just finding the main ingredients. Then. I really like this because if you have ingredients and you don't know what you cook, this is an awesome app, actually. It really is. Maybe I'm going to let this app be on my phone. So I really like the app because it's a genius idea. You just have to add ingredients that you have and then it's finding a meal for you, which is genius. Uh, and I like the app design. It's clean. It's nice. Info. You have an official website, Patreon, you can donate cash. I like that. It's a clean design, nice flat icon design. I like it. Good job with this app. The next one, My Vinci. My Vinci, Da Vinci, probably inspired. Okay, built for the modern illustrator. Let's see what this is about. Start using My Vinci. I'm just going to take a photo here. So here's my setup. <laughs> Let's see, I'm just going to, actually, I'm just going to take a picture. Yeah, nice, lovely picture. Use that picture. And he wants access to my, okay. So here we have my stencil then, whatever. And then I cannot zoom, but I can use these tools. Okay, so this is <laughs> scary. Then I can, Okay, go a bit down with this one. If I now had a white background, I could actually draw. I could draw, you know, the outline by using my pencil. Smart. That's actually pretty smart. Uh, maybe you could also choose between different, um, different difficulties, like one for new drawers who, who then just get a rough outline and then more professional drawers like this one that gets all of the fine details but then you hold it up like this as i saw in the intro and then you draw along the lines which i like it's actually genius it actually is nice it would be awesome also if i could get my picture back okay stencil ah you already have it let's see if i now take on low and then I take a new photo. Use picture. Then I can draw. Nice. 
I actually like this one because I just started drawing myself. So I like this. Modern Illustrator, you got some Instagram action going on up there, grid drawing. He, he's got it a bit more rough, it looks like, but um, it's a good idea. I really have not too much to say to this app because it, it's, it, it feels like a bit more complex app. So I would have to use it a bit more in order to get into it and be able to say something something about it. Uh, but first impression, I really like the app. It's a cool app and it lets you draw draw pictures by using your phone. I, I haven't seen it before, so it might be a whole new idea uh, for any drawer. Oh, he's drawing some amazing stuff right there. Uh, for new drawers or, or, or drawers in general, this is an awesome app. Really liked it. Thank you for sending it in. S Squircle, why? Let's try it out. Clean screen, nice. I just click on play here. Very hard, hard, very hard and possible. Let's try hard so it's no easy, just hard. Okay, and I got it. hit the green ones. Okay, let's see. Whoa. And I got a green one, and I got a green one. No, oh, you have to be, you have to be really fast here. Oh, in order to detect these changes. Boom, boom. Then suddenly it all turns, bam, bam. Whoa, hoo hoo. Wow. Oh, it turns fast. Let's see that in replay, how fast that turns. Oh. What I like here, it's, it, it's a real clean design. I've got all the necessary information. I got my score, I got my high score. I got the replay button and, an, and a menu icon that I can click and then I get back here. That's all you need really. For, for a simple game like this, that's what you need. Let's try impossible. Whoa, okay, this this is almost impossible. That Okay, yeah, the level is called impossible, so that makes sense, actually. Again, real clean design, real clean app. I like it, um, and then when I'm in the game, yeah, whoa. Let's just try one more time here. <laughs> it turns fast, it's almost impossible, but I managed 12, so let's see if someone can beat that. A uh, real clean app, nothing more to say than, than, than I liked it. And I would probably add a share feature, like I say, to all apps, uh, but I like it. I really do. So thank you for all of the people who have sent in their apps and that I were, was able to test today. If you got an app, please just comment it down below and I will make sure to add it to my list. Other than that, thank you for watching my little app review over here and uh, hopefully i will see you back in the next video make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and then i will definitely see you back in the next one thank you for watching